Hi, this is Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas. Today we are got some fun projects. Um, I went ahead and pre-cut and pre-weeded my glitter vinyl so that way it takes a while to weed so that way it doesn't take as long on camera. So, and we've got a few different designs. Um, we've got a couple of St. Patrick's one and a Mardi Gras design. Um, but this is to kind of show you how to do a few things. So first things first, I went ahead and loaded my Threadfast brand Raglan. And this is the cream and black. And I, as I said, I pre-cut my Caesar Emerald Green Glitter. So as I, you can see, I'm folding it in half, so I have my center mark. So just like that. Now, and I've had several people ask when to slice, when not to slice those types of things, it all depends on the project. Now this one is an SVG, it is available on our website. It's called uh, Lucky is Good But Blessed is Best St. Patrick's Day, I think is what it is on there. So you can download it and do this exact same design at home. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and layer my black over it. Now as you can see on my shamrock where the black glitter meets the green glitter, I went ahead and sliced it so that way it fits in there instead of overlapping. So there we go. That's on there. So now I have my heat press set on 320 degrees. Uh, even though we are mixing media, we are going to do some regular size or easier easy weed and the Caesar glitter, I went ahead and set my settings for the glitter, which is 15 seconds, 325, 320 degrees at medium pressure. So, which I actually didn't mean to do that. So we'll go ahead and move that out of the way. So now we'll go ahead and do one final press. So 15 seconds for your final pressing and then you're, it's ready to be washed after 24 hours. So now we have a completed shirt. That looks absolutely adorable. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to our next project, which this is a toddler raglan. So this is the Augusta brand, this is a 4T, this is green and white. So what I'm going to do is just like on everything else, I'll pre-press so that way it gets out the wrinkles and the moisture out of the fabric. And you pre-press for about five seconds. It doesn't really take any time at all. So, now for our Toddler Raglan, I went ahead and cut my Hound's Tooth printed. Now, this is also available on the website. This is um, uh, under our prints. So, we'll go ahead and weed this. I just thought using this because it's a tie design, and this design is also available on the website for download. So let's see. Okay, got that weeded. Now I'm gonna take a piece of my leftovers clear. I just used that on the other St. Patrick's Day shirt that I did. So now on a project like this, one of the things we're gonna do 
And here's the clover for it. And this is in the Caesar Easy Weed in the True Green. So we're gonna go ahead and weed this so that way it's ready for it. So one of the things I'm gonna go ahead and do is here is my t-shirt guide. Now, I'm centering it like I normally would, but I am going to bring my design all the way up to the collar because we want it to be right on the collar so it looks like a real tie. So, got that on. So we'll go ahead and press that. So, that's on. Now we'll go ahead and we can do our full 15 seconds. So let's put our clover on. There we go. So. So again, we're gonna press it for 15 seconds on medium pressure. I'll remove the clear and then we'll repress it again just to make sure everything's sealed down. Um, but as you can see, you know, even though our temperature's a little bit higher than what is for the Caesar is actually supposed to be at 305, it's not melting or hurting the shirt in any way. So, last pressing. 15 seconds and let's see we also have a Mardi Gras raglan to do um, because I've had a lot of people as I said ask about how to layer now as you can see this design I sliced if I weren't going over a print like that I wouldn't have sliced the clover there's no point in it so as I said I pre-cut and weeded the glitter layer. This is my black, just the plain Caesar Easy weed. This is the background. Now, on this, everything is welded together and it is solid because there is a lot of little fine detail on this design. And I wanted it where if you get off a little bit, you won't notice, especially when you're using so many small pieces it's great to be able to have it all welded together so let's see okay got the bulk of it off as you can see it's really not anything hard to do again as i've said you don't have to be careful with it it's not gonna sit there and break on you um now glitter might but for the most part your regular heat transfer you're not going to have any issues with weeding it because the glitter is a little bit more fragile but it is okay so almost got all the little pieces off let's see there we go Here we go, last two little dots. There we go. So now that's all weeded. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, this is an American Apparel Raglan. Right now, Raglans are extremely popular, so it seems like all of them that I'm doing are Raglans. So, and this file is also available on our website. It is labeled, it's Mardi Gras, y'all. So, got that on here. Now, as you can see, that is the full black background layer. So, we're gonna go ahead and fold it in half. And we're gonna 
bring it up some because this is a tall design and the text hold on there we go now there we go when you got so much extra sticky it wants to stick to everything so I'm bringing it up so that way the top of the feather or the mask isn't too low on the shirt so got that on here and as you can see we are straight on here doesn't take long now we're only going to press this one for two to three seconds so it's stuck because we don't want it to stretch or change sizes when you are doing layers you want to press it for the minimum time you can where it's stuck so that way there we go so now we'll go ahead and get started on another part of it we'll do this is the confetti gold caesar easy weed or caesar glitter so let's see okay there we go so as you can see that lines up pretty well that's our gold layer again we're not going to press long just a couple of seconds okay Okay, now we're going to move into our purple piece. One thing I am doing is I'm cutting one of the words off. So, let's see. Go ahead and line this part up on here. Right there. And let's see. Okay. Right there. So that piece is on. So now we're going to go ahead and heat this layer for just a couple of seconds. Hold on. I've got something that's... Ah, there we go. So... Couple of seconds till that one's heated on. And as you can see, it stays pretty busy around here, so... There's our purple layer. Now we're going to go ahead and do our green piece. Okay. Now you can do this however you like to. You can take and try to do it in set more separate pieces than what I did. I just like to make it go a little bit faster um, so there we go pretty close and it doesn't as I said it doesn't have to be perfect it's uh, part of the fun of this is also so it looks like it's homemade you don't want everything to look like you just purchased it from the store um, and then I have one more little piece of green to go over the top the rest of my green section of feathers okay right there so we'll go ahead and do this one for the full 15 seconds
and then we'll remove the plastic, heat it again for 15 seconds, and we will have another completed shirt. Again, as I said, these are available on my website as, long, as well as the alignment tool, Teflon sheets, pretty much everything you need to get going on these projects. So, and you don't have to do it all in glitter. I just like, especially for Mardi Gras, it's, well, anytime's a great time for glitter in my book. Um, but Mardi Gras, you know, it's kind of loud, kind of obnoxious. You know, we're from the South, so we love it. Okay. So, as I said, we have another completed shirt done. All layered, nice and pretty. And as I said, you can wash these after 24 hours. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave your thoughts down below. Now remember, go like us on Facebook and subscribe here on YouTube. Thanks and y'all have a great day.